Good morning, YouTube. Like, is it morning? It's the afternoon. It's about 7 o'clock at night. Hmm. I don't know why I said morning. But anyway, see my purple slash. I had just got it in this. Oh, I love purple. But anyway, about what I was going to talk today. Um, Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to wherever you at in the world. Because right now, it's like an afternoon. You know, it's almost night, whatever. And yeah. Okay, this episode today, episode 3, I'm on my third episode, I know I need to speed this up, but episode 3 today is going to be about girls, understanding girls. Now, I know what you all are thinking, you're a boy, how could you tell us about understanding girls? But I have been around them long enough to understand them enough to slide by, you know, for the rest of my life. Now, I first, the first thing I want to let y'all know, know about before I dive on into it, <clears throat> girls are very simple okay they're very very simple they're so simple it's actually hard to get I know it's kind of contradicting itself and it's kind of you know forming this massive hard ball to you know kind of catch and grab onto but I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna let you in on a little secret girls the only thing they want you to do is to compliment them on their hair when they go get a brand new haircut. You know, if they have long hair, they want you to recognize that it's short or they got a new haircut. You know, because most husbands be walking around here, the wife done went out and got all dolled up for them and got a haircut, and the husband walk right by her and don't say nothing like, oh, I like your hair, or, oh, that look nice on you, or you beautiful, or something like that. First things, please, you know, always look at a girl hair. If you see something different, compliment it. See, this is for the boys. Um, second thing, you know, clothing. You know how girls have a closet, they got the biggest closet in the world, and they have a closet full of clothes, $500 shirts, $600 skirts, or whatever. And they say, I don't have nothing to wear. And you be like, you have all these clothes. What you talking about, you don't have nothing to wear? Well, let me let you in on a little secret. I'm going to tell you what that really means. And that doesn't mean that she don't have nothing to wear. What that means is that I don't have nothing to make me feel beautiful. Okay, like I would like if she has this beautiful dress that cost seven hundred dollars that she wore, it, and she was like the most glamorous thing that night. Then why would she wear it again? Like she could wear it two and three times, but after a while it's gonna get dull. Like I already seen you in that dress and whatever. So what she actually saying is, I don't have nothing in my closet that makes me feel beautiful. So what you need to do is always compliment her on her beauty. Wake up every morning and be like, you're the beautiful thing in the world. You know, you're the beautifulest thing in the world. And I love you and X, Y, Z. You know, tell her this, that, and the other. And another thing, when you walk up to a girl and be like, dang, you fine. Or did you fall from heaven or some kind of corny line? That don't work. That do not work. Let me tell you that now. It do not work. Okay, that was like so 1875. Okay, this is 2010. All nice. You're beautiful. Can we go on a day? Can I buy you a drink? I'd like to get to know you better. We'll work. Okay, instead of walking up to a girl, girl, is your legs tired? Because you've been running around, you've been running through my mind all day. Or uh, something with wings and angels. Is, no. See, first of all, it's lame. You ain't gonna never get nobody with no pickup line like that. If 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 you if you this kind with a pickup line, please get a pickup line that actually work. When it's like, wow, I can't believe he actually said that, you know, stuff like that. And then this is the simplest things that make a girl happy. You know, you compliment them on their hair, their shoes, their dress, even if it's ugly. Compliment them, make them feel better. You know, don't lie. Now, I'm not saying if she's ugly lie but I'm just I'm saying if she's if she's ugly don't be mean but they're like damn girl what I'm excuse my French but like where did you buy them shoes at the flea market don't do that because all you're doing is making it worse for them 
trust me, it's actually hard to be a girl because they have to have a certain image because the media is putting out there, if you ain't this thin, then you ain't good enough. If your hair ain't this long, then you ain't good enough. If your hair ain't this color, then you ain't good enough. If your skin ain't this color, then you ain't good enough. If your teeth this color, if your hair, if your eyelashes ain't this long, if you ain't got no weave in your head, if you ain't got no heels about this high, you know, about to break your ankle in some damn stilettos, then you ain't good enough. And the media is portraying that on our young girls today. That's why you see six and seven year olds when um trying to be cheerleaders to wear skirts that go up way up here. Like you might as well came out the house naked. Okay, it don't work. They wear daisy dukes and shirts that's made out of scarves and you know, because the media is portraying that. And it's up to you, young men, to tell them that they're beautiful in a way, but they don't have to dress or promiscuous to get the same response from another man to tell them that they're beautiful, okay? It does not work that way. The girl is beautiful on the inside and out, okay? And when you get a girlfriend, do not just look at her for her outer appearance, because outer appearance, sorry. Because what's on the inside, it could be totally different from that. She could be the most beautiful thing in the world and have a stank attitude. Like, she could be born, as you like to say. And her attitude could be horrible. She can't cook, she can't clean, she always cussing you out, beating you up, cheating on you. Then, what's the point of having a body if you ain't gonna work it? You know, like, dude, come on. Maybe you help her proceed in her inner beauty instead of her outer beauty, then she will become the perfect woman that you always was looking for. Okay? And so, that's mainly, I don't know how long this video is. I hope it ends up in 10 minutes, but I'm not thinking it. But, um, so, that's just what I want y'all to know today. Um, I'm just giving y'all bit by bit, piece by piece. This is my third episode after we had relationships on episode two. And episode one was on celebrities and how they go on cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Um, please leave a comment, subscribe, you know, let me know what I could talk about on my shows. You know, because, you know, this is Clifton Productions. I think I said welcome to Clifton Productions. If not, welcome to Clifton Productions, everyone. And I hope you subscribe and tell me what I can talk about. But, you know, guys, please, I want y'all to do y'all study. Learn your history about women. I need y'all to do y'all study and let them know that they're beautiful for who they are and not who they want to be. Okay? They're beautiful the way God made them, and then they do not need to wear makeup. You know what makeup is for? Makeup is to make up for something that you lack. Okay, and la last time I know, like, they don't have makeup, like, for eyes, like, oh, I'm missing the eye, and I'm going to get makeup, and then just put in a false eye, no. See, now, if I was missing the eye, then I'm going to get something to make up for it, like a false eye, okay. Last time I checked, we was not born with colorness on our face, okay. My cheeks was not born purple, so I'm not going to go get no makeup to make them purple, okay. Just want y'all to know that, girls, just... Be beautiful for who you are. You know, get, go get some acne cream. You know, wash your face twice a day, daily when you be, when you go to bed and when you wake up. Brush your teeth, comb your hair, brush your hair. You know, it's okay to cut it short, whatever the, the dye do. What per you know, working right with some pink, purple, and orange hair? I ain't gonna knock it. Tell me you do look beautiful with pink, purple, and orange hair. That's you. <coughs> That's your personality. But don't do it just to make people like you and try to fit into groups that you don't belong in. Okay? Get in where you fit in, not where you don't belong in. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Thank you for viewing my video. Leave some comments. Subscribe. What you know about me? What you know about me? What you, what you know? It's that my lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. All the boys keep jocking. They chase me at the school.